Hello and welcome to the new session of Power BI where we are analyzing the global terrorism. So in, in this session we will be adding two pages here. Okay. So and so far we have just seen the global view and that uh, which is the most bad year and which country is most affected and which year um, is how many incidents have occurred and what's the uh, ratio of incidents by uh, people killed and wounded and here, here are some slicers and cards so now moving ahead let's duplicate this page so that we will have the uh, freedom of not um, man, uh, changing the various things okay so let's duplicate this page this will help us we don't need to create again the same things so let's make one more page here and duplicate we can delete this page one so delete and let's and we will be naming this page as hotspot around the world okay so let's remove these things. We don't need it. Even in case we don't need it, we'll just keep one and we will change this to the map. Okay. And we'll keep just a country here. We will not keep anything else. Country is there, longitude and latitude. Okay, we don't need this bubble size. Okay, let's expand this a bit. Oh, is this my internet? I think it's connected. We'll expand this further here as well. So this is fine. Yes, it is looking fine, and we will name this. as we will be naming it um, what name we should give here um, let's give it uh, um, Okay. Now, if we go here, uh, let's let the result pop up. I think it's done. So, long to let to to it. It is, and what we can do, we can just keep it as it is. And I think it's still you can see it's coming up. Okay. Instead of country, if we add city, that will be more beneficial. If we add city here, put it here, city, and remove the place. Let's see if there is in, yeah, see, all it has popped up, and what we can see number of incidents, number of incidents number of if we add this into the bubble size it will it will be much better it will tell us which city is the most affected one let's try this if we, if it doesn't work then we will remove it bubble size okay you can see now this is looking better this region you can see is the most affected one as we have the biggest bubble and if you want then you can just change it Various size, but this road one is the best. If you want, then you can have the aerial. It will take some time to show up. Be fast. Okay, let me just pause it, and when it appears, I will just show you. I'm not sure why it's not coming up. Let's try the other other features. 
or let's keep it as dark as road and let's move ahead this is the def by default one and let's try to change work work on the bubbles how it's shaping up and what's the size let's make the size as Shapes are a bit increasing. You can see, and color we can choose, and blue is fine, or we shall keep it some other. Let's try this color if it works. Yes, this is looking much better, I think. Uh, the maroon one, which we have added. If we go check for the header yes let's make it much deep color is there let's keep this is looking better okay so this is the global view that how many terrorist attacks has happened and in tooltip we will be adding some things that number of people killed Kill we can just add it in the tooltip. And kill many people have killed that particular region, and we will add it here. And wounded, we will be adding this as well. Okay, so if we check this place. It should show city is city name is Bab and number of people 14. Okay, so it's number of incidents 14 has, has happened, number of people killed is 654 and wounded are 52. My god, it's just opposite. So let's people killed. Okay, so this is the global view. Now moving to the next one, next page which we are covering today is your okay. One last thing which I forgot to put is here the name on the this is to change the name as well. The name should be. Is hot spot hot spot city world. This need to increase the size as well. So what we can do, we can just remove one of them, or we can just squeeze some space from the top. Okay. And if we go here, it is as well. And now we can expand this a bit and make sure it doesn't overlap. Okay, it's working around the around the yeah, it's looking better. Now let's move ahead with the next next sheet. Which is we will be renaming it as explosives. Explosives and attacks. Explosive and 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 attacks. So in here we will be adding few things. So we will we'll, you'll, you'll keep this table here. Let's remove this one. Don't need it. This one as well. We'll be working on this. Let's keep this. Now here, this will be will be adding a weapon type. 
which type of weapons have been used okay so for that we will be let's if we go here on the data let me show you the data if we see here you can see you can type we have here explosive switch type of explosives have been used and we have subtype as well subtypes as well so this is a just number so so subtypes here let's go and work on this so this is your weapon we don't need the country it is a country we will be adding you can type and you can subtype okay and let's move this to here much better yeah it is much better and we have this types like values headers okay and number of incidents and percentage of use will be showing number of incidents we already have and percentage of use how will be how will we get the percentage of use is number of incidents and percentage of global we will just manipulating the name number of terror one will be i uh, naming as percentage and how many times it has been used okay so let's make some space additional space here and this one as well Okay. and this one will be number of incidents yes number of incidents and this one will be a column header column header will be written type so you can just rename this as type we have here so here if you see explosives so within explosives we have unknown explosive used vehicles as been used as explosive projectile rockets other grenade and all those things you can see here as been used and how many times how many incidents have occurred with this and the percentage okay now coming to the uh, let's uh, we can just this a bit space here yes we have to use many things now yes number of okay yes to like this then later on if we don't have the space then we can if we add additional space then we will expand it and we also need to change the Title that is your that is used okay and yeah we also have this yeah now the next thing which we we are going to do here is target uh, targets what are the targets have been used so far. So you can just copy this and paste it here. So that we will have the format. We will not need to change it. Okay. Now here, what we will be doing that we we have uh, data. Uh, in our data, we have the targets. The targets. Okay, so you can see subtype target type 2 target type 1 so we have target type 1 here which, which are the primary targets and then we can have target type 2 as well okay so mostly they are blank but 
still we have plenty of them so we will be using these two so if we go here target so let's remove this one and this one and now we will be using as our target type one text and then target type two text okay so we have this we do this here and we name it as target okay we have this let's squeeze some space now we have number of incidents have occurred how many incidents have occurred there and what's the percentage percentage um, percentage of attacks so we will tell this is percentage of attacks okay so leave this as center or right side will be better center will be better column header as well center okay now the next thing which we are going to see uh, before that if, if you want then you can expand and look government and in government private uh, citizens and properties police military government so all these are categorized uh, under which incident happened with which under which sub uh, department of the police uh, of the government or Moving ahead, and we will be adding here. Uh, open the column chart and have a space so you can just put it here. Three. Put a space, yeah, and we will be doing it with the cluster chart. Okay, now in this, we will be showing our that hostages and hijacks people get how many which type of hijacks has, has been taken and why so if we go to our data and if we see here hostages killed and this all is there data we have hostages hostages kidnapped hostages killed okay so and hijacks hijacks uh, let me see hijacks are we have which um, so you can see hostages killed and all these things here and uh, So let's move ahead uh, and let's see here on this what we'll be doing we will be attack type we'll be taking here first attack type we don't need this attack type okay we have here and from the filter i believe we can expand this don't need this actually okay i think we have copied so is it working on all oh no we need to change this we have copied we don't need to show this okay i think this will be here as well as we copied i missed it that completely yeah so we don't need this top 20 here and is it working for all of them Think so because we copied the same graph it's not there okay here okay fine here yes it is fine so let's move ahead and let me save the content first we don't have here so here from from this we can 
just filter just those uh, items only which are related to kidnapping and hijack okay so i will solve this only hijack okay and hostage taking is also same hostage here as well i don't think any other is there so we can have this this three let's log this pirate and yeah now in this section what we'll be doing okay so we've selected the uh, hijack and kidnapping one and how many people have killed in this? Then hostage killed. So number of incidents and so if we see here how many incidents have, have happened here is 9,336 incidences have happened on people have been killed 47,000 okay so number of incidents we have and this will be number of Yes. Okay. So we have this here. Attack type. So so we can see here, uh, and let's reflect the numbers as well. Later we will we can add and let's make it inside and let's put a new column so to hide this data level all okay and this is how gentle and auto background you don't need values you want them it and it should be inside okay so no, inside will be not uh, good and we can just put it in the room will it work yes it will work urgently okay this is fine values display unit we can you can see zero k so that's not fine so we'll give it as none okay so we can have this number don't need any decimal numbers. That one we don't need. Okay, and we can just make this as network. Yes, I'm just looking for the set of thousands of better, a hundred and thousands of better here. It will happen. Okay, so now. This looks fine to me. Okay, if we want, then we can just squeeze some more space so that we can have a better view of other names. Okay. as well yeah and in this we need to change the header and title so title for this will be should be targets targets of the attacks target of 
okay that's okay now we also need to change the header that should be hostages and title should be Okay, we don't need the data label, so we can just L is okay, not L. We don't need the legends. as well and we need the sorry we load this this one and if we go title of yes okay so this is looking fine to me. Okay. Now, next thing we are going to add two more, one more table here, and for the organization, which type of organization they and they were. Okay. And let's make it a big one. This will be a more important important information if anyone wants to study. I'm using mostly tables because this data can only be uh, shown on the tables or through bar chart. The best if anyone wants to have a data visualization, then you can just go for the this tables. So I prefer table to state my my information. Okay. So which of each of organizations, if I go and show you the data here. In the data, we have the organization types, which type of organization uh, where we are involved in in the killings. Or you can see just gangs, which type of gangs attack type. You can see G G name. G name means gang name. Just see this is the gang name. Okay, so let's go here and here we can see G name and no, we don't need this, we go here and put it in the row headers. Yeah, we have the G names. These are the only those names which have been identified or or claimed by any organization, terrorist organization. Okay. Those name only. There are many uh, attacks which has been not uh, not claimed by any any terrorist organization or by any any group. So they are, they are they are kept in unknown. You can see unknowns are the highest one number of instances, and Taliban is the most claimed. From here you can see number of instances: seven thousand four hundred seventy seven and five point five percent of terrorist attacks have been taken place. I mean, we have filter here. We don't need this. Remove it. And now you can see 5.5 percent, 50 percent of them are unknown. They the unknown were would be mostly of the 90s, I believe so. We can select this. Then we can know. No worries. So. Now here we'll be adding various things, incidents, or number of incidents. Then we will be adding percentage of global terror. Okay, we already have that people killed. And kill will be happening here. And terrorist killed. How many terror? Where the terrorists were killed or not, and killed. Okay, and people wounded will be seen here as well. 
and wounded okay and successful attack is all should be also there so success means how many attacks were successful by the by the terrorist organizations and how okay and now so how many were suicide bombers yes suicide bombers so here is the data just squeeze this a bit more percentage of terror terror killed as people this is will be killed one will be your uh, people and then successful attacks and this one will be your S E U I C I D E. Okay, so this is our data. So let's just squeeze it a bit. This means I think we can squeeze a bit. Successful attacks, and now the last one is the suicide bombs. How many were the suicide bombs? Okay, and now come here, column header, make it center. Looking fair, so we need to squeeze. Yes, yeah, it's looking fair. Now, terrorist killed, we need to have successful. So, if you come here, how many were, 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 were successful? If you want to explore further, then you can just put. Find the uh, find the percentage of uh, successful attacks. Okay. And I'm killed. Just need to put this here. We have all of them now. And let's expand this a bit. Yes. And squeeze this a bit. So if we go here and try to filter by let's say country. Afghanistan. So you can see mostly Taliban, then unknown, and they are all Al Qaeda and all the TTP. Although you can see the name of the terrorist organizations which have done the and then okay. Now the last thing which we are going to work on this is a a pie chart. So 
So we have plant attack type, which is the most attack type. So we take this one. We in this pie chart we will be showing that attack type how many different attacks have taken attack types so we already have and which is the most attack types the value we have it here Okay, so count of attack type 1, and this is also our attack type 1 text. So, this is our uh, the percentage of which type of attacks have occurred most. So, if we see here. Hostages and hostages taking is the most. This is uh, if something wrong, perhaps the second thing else. Yes, you can see. So we need to remove this. We are not showing the correct figures. Let me close this. So here is the data for the most. Attack types we have so if we if we want then we can just name so we need to change the title as well attack types Okay. In this attack type, we can the legends we will be legends data level. Sorry, data level percentage. We can just have all details here. You can see number of okay. How many how many have occurred here? are the data types it's small so you can read it better or you can read it still by the to nine this is much better nine one is what is better and we make it aerial then yeah aerial is fine and here we can name it the attack type Number of so bombing is for ten percent, seventy percent is the highest number. We need to change the header here as well. And here we will putting it as. So we have the entire second page also ready. Okay. Now the last thing which we will be adding will be a short video where uh, where I will be adding uh, another data uh, uh, tab which will be having uh, will be in data export. If anyone who is a, if you publish your DO data on the Power BI services and if anyone wants to download your data, then he or she needs to have a tab from which all the important this is this is a small table. We will expand this table in that video. Okay, and how it will be done, I will be showing I will show you that all the important uh, types uh, we will be adding there. And then how it will be exported, I'll be showing it. 
so for now this is it and hope you like it do let me know uh, on which other data you want to see the analysis you commented let me know so that it will be helpful for me to reach you yeah thank you have a good day